Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So first up I'm just going in with some Garnier Micellar Water just to ensure the face is nice and clean before primer. And the primer I'm using is the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue just because she had oily skin. And this is my absolute favorite primer for oily skin. Then for brows, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Brow Palette as always and I'm using the shade Soft Brown just with my Pony Cosmetics Eyebrow Brush to fill in her brows. She has amazing brows to start off with so it made it easy for me. Then I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light and I'm just using that to define her brow. So I just use it on a flat concealer brush and just run it above and below the brows. And then I'm just spraying her face with a bit of MAC Fix Plus just before foundation. And the foundation I used was the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC30. Just dotting that all over her face first and then blending it all in with a damp beauty blender. Then taking my fave concealer Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Light and using that underneath her eyes to conceal and highlight. Then I go ahead to place it on her cupid's bow chin, down the bridge of her nose and a bit on her forehead and then blending it out as well. Then to set the concealer in place, I'm taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder and just using that to bake underneath her eyes. And then to set the rest of her face, I take the MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade NC40 and just setting the rest of her face. Then I'm just taking some more Laura Mercier translucent powder and just using that to set her eyelids in place just to ensure that the eyeshadow blends seamlessly. Then for eyeshadow, I'm taking the Morphe Brushes 350 palette, taking that shade right there. I wish they had names because it's so annoying um, and just using that as a transition shade. Then taking this gorgeous bright orange color, I'm just using that also in the crease as well. Then taking this brownie ready shade, I'm also using that in the crease just to give it a little bit more definition.
Then taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer again in light, just on the concealer brush, and this is where we're going to cut the crease. So what I like to do is just place some on the lid, and then I get the client to open, because then you can definitely see um, where the skin fold is, and then just going by that, you go ahead and try and cut the crease. Then taking this gorgeous shimmery shade, I'm just placing that directly on the lid. Then I'm taking like a really, really mini blending brush, just taking a little bit more of that darker shade that we used earlier throughout the crease and just using that to really define the cut crease line. Then taking the Tarte Clay Paint Liner. This is the one in the pot, not in the tube. I really like this. It was the first time I used it. Really easy to work with and super black. And the brush that I'm using is just the Zoeva Winged Liner Brush, which is like one of my favorites. So yeah, I just did that. And then I'm wiping off the excess powder from the bake. And then I continue on and do the wing. Then taking the Too Faced Sweet Hearts Bronzer, I'm using that on an angled brush and just using that to bronze up the face. Then 
then taking the hula bronzer by benefit and just using that to further contour her face and then I'm just going in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder again just to bake her contour Then taking MAC's Petal Power Blush and just using that on her cheeks. And now moving on to underneath the eyes, I'm just taking that first transition color and mixing it in with a little bit of the orange and just smoking that on her lower lash line. Then taking a more defined, like narrow brush, I'm taking a dark brown out of the palette and just using that to smoke out her lower lash line as well. Then taking the pinky champagne -y shimmery color, I'm using that to highlight her inner corners and brow bone. And then using the Tarte liner again, I'm just using that in her waterline as well. Then taking a dark brown from the palette again and really pressing that into the lower lash line just to make it a little bit more smokier and then go ahead with a blending brush to blend it all out. Then taking the Benefit Their Real Mascara just on a disposable mascara wand and just using that to coat her lashes in preparation for false lashes and the lashes that I used were the Model Rock 212s and my absolute favourite. I pretty much use them on every client. I love them. Then taking the Tarte, I'm pretty sure this is the Pro Glow palette, which is relatively new. It's so nice, so pigmented, and I love the colors. So I'm just placing that on the highest points of her cheekbone, down her cupid's bow, and then on the tip of her nose. And I do fix up that eyeshadow. For all of you OCD people out there, I do end up fixing it up. And then I'm going in with bottom lashes and just using the Benefit Their Real Mascara again. And then to line her lips, I'm taking the Gerard Cosmetic Share Lip Liner. Then I'm taking the new Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. I'm taking the shade number five and I didn't actually end up mixing because I really, really love this shade and I thought a berry lip would look really great with this eye makeup look. So I just ended up using that color and wow, the formula of these are amazing. They're super creamy. I've actually tried them on my own lips as well and love, love them. So if you're a makeup artist then I probably would recommend having one of these in your kit. I don't know how like practical they'd be on someone that isn't a makeup artist but definitely if you're a makeup artist you need this palette it's so good um, and then I just ended up putting a clear gloss on top and that is the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed watching and of course learned something new um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video bye guys